So you want the Apple Watch Ultra, but it just costs way too much, right? Well, don't worry guys, our brothers and sisters from China has got you covered with this $35 smartwatch. And it's an exact replica of the Apple Watch Ultra, or at least it tries to be. So I'll be honest with you guys, I actually hate the Apple Watch Ultra because of multiple reasons. I think it's pretty garbage, but I still decided to take this HK9 Ultra 2, which is supposed to be an exact replica of this device and of course for $35 I have no idea how good of a replica it's going to be but we're gonna be testing it and comparing it against my actual smartwatch which is the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro and by the way guys this is one of the most accurate watches out there on the market so we're gonna get a pretty good idea if this one is good compared to this one and also compared to the actual Apple Watch Ultra so let's get right into this video So what better way to start this than with the build quality which is probably the thing that's gonna give away the most uh, that this watch is actually a replica and not the original Apple Watch Ultra. When it comes to that this watch has a pretty nice weight to it, it's not lightweight at all and it kind of, you can fool someone that it's the real deal by them just looking at it for the first time. But if they look closely they're gonna see very quickly that this watch actually is missing some holes in the speaker grill here. There's only like three available holes and the other ones are blocked. And not only that but also the, the shape of the screen when it's turned on is probably not the same as the Apple Watch Ultra. There are a little bit thicker bezels and you can probably say that uh, this watch is not created using titanium or any high quality materials but that's probably if you spend a little bit more time with it. At first glance, I think that you will be able to fool most of the people that you are actually using the Apple Watch Ultra. So a fun story that I had actually is that last year I was reviewing the HK8 Pro Max, which is the previous version of this watch. I, I think there are just so many replicas that you don't know anymore, but I was outside and I actually met some friends. They came up to me and they were like, oh, you got a new Apple Watch Ultra? And I'm like, no, 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 this costs barely like $30. It's definitely not the Apple Watch Ultra, but it's... It's convincing. Now on the page of AliExpress where I bought this from, it says that it's actually IP68 waterproof but I wouldn't ever trust that. Don't dip that thing in water in case you decide to buy it. Uh, it's not going to end well most likely. And I've actually splashed some water on it just to test it out. It was fine. But I assume that if I go into the shower with it or in a pool, it's probably gonna break quite, quite easily. Now guys, if you want to spend just a little bit more money to get an even better and more convincing replica of the Apple Watch Ultra, then you can buy the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, which is like this one, but just like $10 more expensive. And it can uh, be quite more convincing when it comes to its performance as well as display and everything else. But that's up to you. Personally, I didn't think that I need to spend so much money for a replica, so that's why I just got this this one but that aside we're gonna continue with the display of this device and when it comes to that we have a 2.02 inches and probably a little bit bigger bezels than the actual Apple Watch Ultra but when it comes to the display itself it's an AMOLED display which is super super bright and I actually love that now the funny thing is that compared to my GT3 Pro this watch is actually even brighter the fake replica watch is actually brighter than my original GT3 Pro but uh, in terms of quality, I think that both of the displays are around the same resolution and around the same brightness. It's just that the Apple Watch Ultra is a little bit brighter and I think that most of the budget of uh, these, these replicas, they go inside of the screen and inside of the body and not so much in the sensors and anything else like that. Alright, so what about the sensors of the device? Well, I believe that it's a pretty tragic situation here. I don't think that any of these sensors are real. I think that they're mostly fake. And I can prove it because the GT3 Pro actually has real sensors and they're one of the most accurate ones comparable to the actual Apple Watch Ultra and that means that they're pretty pretty accurate so I've been testing it against this replica and from what you can see here you'll quickly realize that this actually is a fake watch with the fake sensors in it and it's only for show, it's just almost like a toy but it's still pretty usable and it connects to your device so you can do quite a lot of things with it and now we're gonna go through all of them. This replica watch is kind of convincing when it comes to performance but you can still say that it's not the actual Apple Watch Ultra because the animations are kind of laggy, they're not consistent and many many times you're gonna experience quite a lot of lags with this device. It is usable, don't get me wrong, but you can get a lot better performance from the higher end replicas for around $40 for example than you can get from this one. Still pretty usable, you can do almost anything with it, you can 
uh, go through the menus and activate different apps, they're gonna open, everything is going to work just fine, but it's not going to be exceptional. But I should really stop trash talking this watch for $30, this is actually an amazing quality item, like you can do so many things with it and it also even has the original Apple Watch faces and a bunch of others pre-installed on it. You can also install many other watch faces if you'd like, some of them are even with animations, which is kind of cool in my opinion and definitely beats the animations that my GT3 Pro has to offer. So yeah, when it comes to using this smartwatch uh, for entertainment purposes, then you probably cannot get a better one than this. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the features that the smartwatch has to offer that are actually useful and are not a gimmick. Now, when you connect it to the smartphone app, which I'm probably not even going to show you because it's kind of lame, but once this watch is connected to your smartphone, there are a few apps that you can use on a daily basis. Like for example, you have a calculator which you can use to calculate some simple stuff instead of using your smartphone. There is a music player and 2 gigabytes of storage on this smartwatch, so you can put some songs inside of it and play uh, these songs from your smartwatch, or you can connect it to your uh, wireless earbuds and play these songs from there. Now the speaker of the smartwatch could have been a little bit louder because sometimes I'm not able to hear so much but considering there's only like 3 holes open from the 10, I'm not surprised that the quality is not exceptional. This is pretty convenient especially for a watch that costs barely 30 bucks and it's something amazing that you also have an actual GPS inside of this and an actual compass. You can also control your camera of the smartphone remotely from the smartwatch but I think that this feature is a little bit of a gimmick here. It opens its own camera interface on the smartphone and you can only take pictures from there which are most likely not one of the best quality especially compared to the original camera app of your smartphone. So I wouldn't advise you on using it. Oh but wait until I tell you about the best feature of this smartwatch which is actually a chat GPT assistant. Yeah you don't believe me? Here it is. That's what ChatGPT looks like and when you start it, you can say Hello ChatGPT, how can you help me today? And uh, all it's going to do is just open your phone's Google Assistant and uh, not do anything with it, to be honest. Well, this smartwatch can actually also call someone and you can answer a call. But guys, there is one feature on this replica that actually beats the original, can you guess what it is? Well, it's the battery, because the battery on this thing is just amazing. The original Apple Watch Ultra probably will last you around today, while this one can last you probably more than 10 days. Since I bought this smartwatch, I actually haven't charged it still. Uh, compared to that, my GT3 Pro actually lasts around 10 days, so if this one beats my original GT3 Pro, then it's probably one of your best bang for buck when it comes to battery life and I'll highly recommend it only because of that. Now as much as I like this little replica smartwatch here, I actually don't need it and I will be giving it away to one of you guys. Uh, all you have to do is just like this video, subscribe to my channel and fill in the form down below with your email address so I can pick randomly one of you to ship it to. So who is this watch for in the end? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I can think of uh, quite a few reasons where you can use this watch. Like for example, for a prank, you can buy it as a prank, you can buy it for your child, you can uh, just get it for yourself and just play around with it like a toy. And in the worst case scenario, if you get robbed, well, they're robbing you of your 30 bucks smartwatch. So this concludes my review of the Apple Watch replica. I hope that you found this video a little bit entertaining or you found a little bit of value in it. And if you did, then I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button down below and share your thoughts. Or you can just, you know, dislike everything and leave the video because I wasted your time. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and week ahead from me. Bye bye.